So now that we understand the relationship between the coefficients of a pair of linear equations in two variables with the consistency of the system of linear equations, let us go on ahead and solve a couple of problems based on those concepts, right? So in this problem, we have been given a pair of linear equations and we have to find out if this system of linear equations has a unique solution, has no solution or has infinitely many solutions. Now we have seen the relationships of coefficients with respect to these three cases, right? Can you recall what were the relationships? Well, we have seen three different relationships. The first one is for the system of linear equations to have a unique solution. Now, we say that a system of linear equations has a unique solution when the condition a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2 is true, right? For the system to have infinitely many solutions, the condition that needs to be true is a1 upon a2 is equals to b1 upon b2 is equals to c1 upon c2, right? And for the system of linear equations to have no solution, the condition a1 upon a2 is equals to b1 upon b2 is not equals to c1 upon c2 should be true, right? So now what we'll do is, let's take this pair of linear equations in two variables and figure out all the coefficients in this system of linear equations, right? Once we have all the coefficients with us, we'll try and put those coefficients in these conditions and see which, which of these conditions is actually true. Right? So if we try to figure out the coefficients of this system of linear equations, let's first represent these linear equations in the general form. Right? So I can rewrite the first equation as 2x plus 3y minus 7 is equals to 0. Right? And I can rewrite the second equation as 6x plus 5y minus 11 is equals to 0. Now both these equations are in the general form of a linear equation in two variable, right? So now I can figure out the coefficients of these pair of linear equations. So the coefficients will be right a1, b1, c1 and a2, b2, c2. So for the first equation, we know a1 is the coefficient of x, right? Which is 2. b1 is the coefficient of y, which is 3. And C1 is the constant term, right, which is minus 7. Now, A2 is the, for the second equation, A2 is the coefficient of x, which is 6. B2 is the coefficient of y, which is 5. And C2 is the coefficient, is the constant term in the equation, right, which is minus 11. So, now we have all the coefficients of this system of linear equations in two variables, right. So, now we can put these values in these expressions and see which of the expre expressions are actually true, right? So let's go try step by step. So first let's see if this pair of linear equations has a unique solution. So we'll use the inequality a1 upon a2 is equals to, is not equals to b1 upon b2. And we'll see if this condition stands true, right? So if I put the values of a1, a2, b1 and b2 in this expression, I get a1 upon a2 is 2 upon 6, right? And b1 upon b2 is 3 upon 5, right? So 2 upon 6, I can rewrite as 1 upon 3, right? So this expression comes out to be 1 upon 3 is not equals to 3 upon 5. Now this is true, right? 1 upon 3 is actually not equals to 3 upon 5. So now the first condition that we tried was a1 upon a2 is not equals to b1 upon b2. And that condition comes out to be true, right? So I can say that since this condition is true, right? For this pair of linear equations in two variables, the system of this linear equations should actually have a unique solution, right? Because this condition a1 upon a2 not equals to b1 upon b2 stands true for this pair of linear equations in two variables. So this is how we solve and approach a problem where we have to figure out if a pair of linear equations has actually a unique solution or no solution or infinitely many solutions. Let's move on to the second question. So in this question, we have to again figure out if the given pair of linear equations has a unique solution or no solution or infinitely many solutions, right? So we'll again use the relationship between the coefficients of a linear equation in two variable to the consistency of the system of the 
linear equations in two variables right so we know three different conditions that exist right so for a unique solution we know that a1 upon a2 should not be equals to b1 upon b2 right for the system of linear equations to have infinitely many solutions we know the condition right so a1 upon a2 should be equals to b1 upon b2 should be equals to c1 upon c2 right and for the pair of linear equations in two variables to have no solution the condition a1 upon a2 is equals to b1 upon b2 is not equals to c1 upon c2 should be true right so let's write down all the coefficients of this system of linear equations first and then we'll see which of these conditions is actually true right so i'll rearrange these equations in the general form of linear equations in two variables so i can rewrite this equation as 9 x plus 15 y is e minus 21 is equals to 0 right and i can rewrite this equation as 6 x plus 10 y minus 11 is equals to 0. So now both these equations are in the general form of a linear equation in two variable, right? So now I can find out the values of the coefficients, right? So for the first equation, the coefficients are a1, b1 and c1, right? Even is the coefficient of x, which is 9. b1 is the coefficient of y, right? Which is 15. And c1 is the, co is the constant term in the equation, right? Which is minus 21. Now, for the second equation, the coefficients are a2, right? So, a2 is again the coefficient of x, which is 6. b2 is the coefficient of y, which is 10. And c2 is the constant term, right? Which is minus 11. So, now we have all the coefficients for this system of linear equations in two variables. Now, let's calculate the three ratios, right? So, we have three ratios, a1 upon a2, b1 upon b2, and c1 upon c2. So, let's calculate the values of those ratios. So a1 upon a2, if I substitute the values, I get this as 9 upon 6, right, which is 3 upon 2, right. The value of b1 upon b2 is, if I put the values of b1 and b2, I get the value as 15 upon 10, right, which is equals to 3 upon and the value of c1 upon c2. So the value of c1 upon c2, if I substitute the values, is minus 21 upon minus 11, right, which is 21 upon 11. So now, from these three ratios, I can see that a1 upon a2 is equals to 3 by 2, right, and b1 upon b2 is also equals to 3 by 2. So a1 upon a2 is equals to b1 upon b2. So the first condition is untrue, right? Because a1 upon a2 is equals to b1 upon b2 in this case. So this pair of linear equations does not have a unique solution, right? So it either has infinitely many solutions or it has a no, it has no solution, right? So now let's compare the, these ratios with the ratio c1 upon c2. So a1 upon a2 is equals to b1 upon b2 is equals to 3 by 2, right? And c1 upon c2 is equals to 21 upon 11. So we can clearly see that a1 upon a2, which is equals to b1 upon b2, is actually not equals to c1 upon c2, right? Because the value of a1 upon a2 and the value of b1 upon b2 are 3 by 2. And the value of c1 upon c2 is 21 upon 11. So I get the expression as a1 upon a2 is equals to b1 upon b2, right? But it is not equals to c1 upon c2. So this pair of linear equations in two variables actually shows this relationship between its coefficient, right? So I know that this linear equation, this pair of linear equation should actually have no solutions, right? Why? Because this condition a1 upon a2 is equals to b1 upon b2 is not equals to c1 upon c2 stands true, right? And that is the condition for a system of linear equations to have no solution. So this pair of linear equations in two variables, which is 9x plus 15y is equals to 21, and 6x plus 10y is equals to 11 actually has no solution.